Hello YouTube. Welcome to the shaping of the handle. This handle is only about 11 and a half inches long. It was only about 12 inches long before. You can see what I cut off. But I used several things to fit this. I used my sander, the rasp, and my knife. That's very sharp. If you ever see me use this, I scrape off my it, it'll sharpen up like a razor blade. It's part of a butcher knife blade. I beat my mallet to death. I have too little work on that. It's just so lightweight I shouldn't use it. I should just grab a stick of firewood. But you gotta pound it off several times on and off. I thought I'd show you some of the things I'm changing. Uh, here's the design of these. Let me get my pencil. This comes down like this on these, okay? I've taken some of that off because it's so thick. It gets weird how this gets fatter here because I took some off the top even, but I'm not changing it. And these lines, these are lines where it's real sharp coming around the corner, even down into here. We're going to hand sand that because you try wood rasp, you're going to mess it up. There's a little ding in it, and I think I hit it with a wooden mallet because I never really used this hatchet. I'll put some pictures at the end when I bought this new. I got them out of a video. It's easier. Just take a snapshot of the video. Uh, this was a nice looking uh, new old stock hatchet when I bought it. Uh, bought it on Amazon. I don't know if you can find one anymore. Here, quit blurring that out. We're trying to show you the handle. We're softening this. This kind of stuck out too much and it kind of stuck out at the back too much. It's just like a big bulb. You know, it was just too much. We don't want to get rid of it because we really like the shape of this handle. Uh, we're kind of crowded in here. Let's move over. We really like the shape of this handle. But like down here, you can almost tell on the camera. You see where that's kind of sharp feeling? Looking? Okay, if you roll it over this way, see where it's it almost like, even with the varnish, how this is rolled over smoother? When you put your hand around it, it feels good, but it starts to hurt your fingers right here. See? So, do that like with 80 grit where you get rid of a lot of wood really fast. But don't stay in one little spot. You know, go long distance, you know, sand. And then feel it. Put your hand on the thing. Use both hands, you know, to check it. Because you might switch left-handed once in a while. But like I said, when I put this on my hand, it feels good here. But I don't like when my fingers come around here. That's too sharp. And we might thin it out just a little bit. We've been really careful getting this on straight, you know, so it isn't crooked this way. You know, of course, you got to look this way so your head don't go like this. You know what I mean. You don't want it leaning this way. You don't want it twisted either. And I've had handles twist where I just left it alone. If I'm going to have a twist, I'd rather have my handle go out this way. So I get a little closer to something chopping. If it's going to have a natural bow to the handle, I'd rather have it come out this way a little bit. Or even the head kick over that way a little bit. So it kind of goes like this with the handle. It gets the handle away when you're working on something. And they made that for carbon on logs. If you look it up, your ads or whatever. I just want you to see it now. I don't know what to stay in it. I hate going real dark, but I want to bring out the natural green of the wood. And I'm not going to burn it with a torch. I just don't like doing it on too much stuff. But you know, we talked about it enough, but we figured we might as well show all this stuff. Uh, it's on here. Uh, I, I can take this off my hand. It's almost all. And when you see it, it makes a little small line. You'll see where it finally digs it. And they never fit good up here. There's always a gap up in this part. No matter what you do, is way to because I have hardly sanded it all there. This might show you a little better to taper. You want to bring it down nice. But you can, you can agree, right? That's just a little too fat in there. We, we can we can take that off. And like I said, the pencil line helps. I'm going to do this by hand. We're going to just kind of smooth it. Not, not make it real thin. We don't want it to go then super. We want it to do what it did before. Then it came like this. I think you know what I mean. So, no talking about it, but it's worth making the video longer uh, if you've never done this before. I mean, this way is nothing. 
This thing's gonna be nice. This thing's gonna be so small that you can put it on your belt in a little seat or in a backpack. And this is gonna be like a night blade. Uh, if you, if you want to see how I do it, I mean, I've done it last winter, but uh, you can look at them videos. So I'm not gonna show a whole lot. I'm gonna make this super thin. I want this this time this year is gonna be a lot different from my other ones. I will show you one when it comes to the blade when I start uh, super thin, but this is going to be like the ultimate. I want this almost like a big knife blade. I want it so thin, thinned out when it comes down that it will be unbelievable. I don't care if it takes me a week. This is going to be my ultimate personal little tomahawk type hatchet. There, we've talked too much. Get you one of these. You don't have it. I should have showed you that plastic. Uh, when they injected that plastic, that's what's in that slot that looks dark. They don't use a wedge when they did that. They had that plastic epoxy stuff that held this on. Okay, that's enough. I think that's geez, six minutes. But it's worth it. You're, you're, if you've never done this, uh, it's worth talking about. So I ignore them people that say there's too much blah, blah, blah. Well, then go somewhere else. Because <laughs> I'm not really like that. But I'm lying. Yes, I am after a while. Go somewhere else. I politely told people, my channel's not for you. I ramble on, I take my time, and I watch people who make half-hour videos on putting a handle on an axe, and I'm not going to tell you his name. But it, I enjoy it. There's nothing on TV. You know what's on television. That's why you're probably here. There we go. So you can pause on that. I do that. I pause when people do that. Pause that. What's that look like? Okay, doke. I'll snap kind of a photo here, just for the fun of it. It might be my cover photo. There you go. Stay tuned. Hand sanding, 150 grit. It is worth it. All these sharp edges taken off. Look at it. Study both sides. Because this is raised up too much. You can curb your sandpaper. If you want. Like this. Yeah. Just a little tip. Just to show you what I'm going through. And, and I've been doing this for like a half hour. I decided to make a little one minute clip. Well. What should I do? It's getting dark. I've turned down my big bright light. It's starting to get close to getting dark out. Video's getting too long. We're just going to post this. Just be sanding the handle. Should I put a dark stain on it? I got very little linseed left all over. But you know what that looks like. It looks pretty nice. Kind of an amber color. I like the grain of the wood. I know that light's kind of blowing it out. I'm leaning back here in the chair to get, get up here. There. That kind of helped a little bit. What should I do? It's going to be your decision. Dark stain or just oil it? I don't want to put slack on it. I don't like slack on stuff I'm going to use all the time. A hammer handle is perfect because it's going to get wet and rained on or something. So on a hammer handle, I, I like slack. It keeps the wood preserved. This I can keep cleaner. We'll let you decide. We'll take a couple photos. What do you want? A dark stain like my custom... Uh, hatchet I made a while back. I still plan on my putting them shells in this one. You know, for my lanyard. I haven't decided. I don't like overdoing things. Take a couple photos. You tell me what you want. Just some oil on it or stain it. 